We are fortunate in Clark County to have a plentiful natural resource. It's water. While we can see these streams and water bodies throughout the county, it is what trickles down and collects under the surface that supports our day-to-day -day life, and that is groundwater. 98% of the drinking water that everyone in Clark County drinks comes from groundwater. So that includes individual wells that are serving single homes, small public water system wells that are serving two to 14 homes or small businesses, and extends to the large municipal wells. Public suppliers deliver drinking water from deep underground wells or aquifers to customers in the urban areas of Clark County. Relative to surface water, groundwater is protected by Mother Nature beautifully. I mean, it's placed under layers and layers and layers of earth. Uh, the water we're pulling off of this site is 600 feet below the surface. The last time the water that we're pulling it saw surface was decades to centuries ago. Because some human activities could affect groundwater, regulations were put in place to protect this valuable resource. In 1971, the legislature passed the Water Well Protection Act. In that, they found that the construction and operation and maintenance of wells was of vital interest to public health, uh, well-being of the community, and overall public safety. On a local level, Clark County Public Health works with well drillers, developers, and rural property owners to ensure new wells are constructed to standards and water from the well is safe for drinking. Our drinking water program touches on drinking water in a couple of different ways. For new well construction, we do a well site evaluation, and that allows us to help property owners ensure that the location they want to have their well constructed is free and clear of contaminants within at least 100 feet. Potential sources of contamination include septic systems, both the tanks and the drain fields, underground storage tanks, livestock barns, uh, manure piles, things like that. To avoid possible groundwater contamination, a well no longer in use needs to be properly capped or decommissioned. The county has been documenting new, known, and decommissioned wells into a database since the 1980s. If a property owner then needs to get a building permit, then we do a review of both the well construction and the water quality. So we can combine what has been established during the well site evaluation, what the well driller has done, and we look at the water quality for bacteria, nitrate, and arsenic in most cases, and say that the water system provides adequate water quantity for a home. Once a well is approved, it is the property owner's responsibility to maintain the water system. Unlike public water providers, there is no county oversight to monitoring private wells. Clark Public Utilities pulls over 2,000 samples every year to ensure that the water is, is clean and pure. And we test for about 166 elements that exist in nature. Iron, manganese, all sorts of inorganic and organic compounds. It is an extensive battery and we're testing all the way down to parts per trillion. Public Health recommends that private wells be tested for bacteria once a year and nitrates every three years. Many wells in Clark County have not been evaluated for arsenic, but should be at least once. National Groundwater Awareness Week is March 11th through the 18th. There are things we all can do to protect our groundwater. These include routine septic system inspections, properly disposing of household hazardous materials such as used mortar oil and unused pesticides and herbicides, and helping to recharge aquifers by allowing storm water from your home to go back into the ground. For more information on groundwater, visit the Clark County Public Health webpage at clark.wa.gov slash public health slash drinking water and wells.